Do you guys know that song by the Jonas Brothers, Burning Up? Something about this moment <laughs> just made me think of that. I don't know what that could be. Um, hey guys, Kukumi Peace. So today we are going to talk about some Kodadi products and I'm going to try not to hold that up close to my face because the white tends to make this whole setup look very orange. Why? I don't know. You would think the camera would be smarter, but evidently it's not. Um, I got this Brighten and Renew uh, three-step set in uh, like as a point perk, like $500, $500, 500 point point perk from Sephora. Um, and then I also got a little while before that this premium um, sample of the Kodidi, uh like face cream. So I thought these products are pretty pricey and I have sort of been hesitant even myself. And you guys know me, I say even myself because I'm usually like a huge high-end um, makeup and skincare junkie. And so I still have sort of been hesitant with these guys because they are pricey, because I'm not really sure where to start. Um, so this was, I felt like a nice place to get um, my feet wet with this brand. I wanted to give you guys sort of my two cents on these products. And then I also really would love to invite you guys to let me know what you've tried out from them, your thoughts, all that kind of good stuff down in that comment section. Um, especially with skincare, I'm gonna try to be as thorough as possible and I hope you guys will do the same in your recommendations down below. Just cause we all have very different skin types and things that don't work for some will work for others. And a reason that I didn't like something might be why you'll love it. So um, I'm gonna try to, to do my best at being thorough in these reviews as possible. Um, I didn't pay for any of this stuff. Like I said, they were point perks or free samples. Um, so I will find the links for the full price of the full size of these products and link them down below. Unfortunately, neither of these are still available as point perks. Um, so I can't link those discount codes or coupon codes down for you, but I will find the full size of these guys, of each of them, and link it down in that description box. I have been trying to be better about actually linking, like giving you actual links. Um, for these products so that you can just easily find them um, as opposed to the names and I hope that's been helpful to you guys. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to review firstly the thing that's not part of the set which is this um, Coderi Premier, it's the La Riche La something. I am tired. I am tired and it's been a long day fasting. So it's the Caudalie Premier Cru La Riche Creme uh, for the red. I can't read off the little monitor, but for wrinkles, dark spots, firmness, nutrition, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so this was actually not even a point perk. Sometimes Sephora, I'm gonna try to find, Sephora has this page where they list all their offers that they have on at any given time. So I think at the moment, like when I last checked Sephora, which, which is probably, probably right before I sat in film actually, I'm pretending like I don't know when the last time I was on Sephora website is, but um, they had the like a free deluxe sample size of the push-up liner, the new Benefit push-up liner. Um, I guess Josie Marin's coming out with a mascara so you could get like a, uh, luxury sample of that guy and this was one of the same things where it was like this is a pretty hefty sample and it was sort of free with purchase as long as you use sort of that coupon code when you ordered it online. So it's this guy right here. I'm gonna try to open him up and show you um, the kind of consistency he is. So I hope you can tell but it's a nice sort of not gonna budge thick kind of consistency. Um, so I really like to use it as a night cream and it has a very faint smell all of the quiddity products or the ones at least that I've tried have like a grape um, smells of them because I'm pretty sure the grapeseed extract supposed to be have all these sort of regenerative properties um this one it's quite faint which I like because I've I like scented products on my face I feel like it's nice to have a little bit of a scent but sometimes if they're too heavily fragranced they'll either break me out or just it gets irritating if it's too heavily fragranced and it's too fake, but this has like a very light fruity smell and I really have been enjoying this guy. Um, I like how thick it is. Thick so it is. I have quite dehydrated skin, even though I'm oily, it is dehydrated. It needs a good burst of hydration through uh, moisturizer, through facial oil. I had a very annoying experience at a counter where this I had some hormonal breakouts. I've talked to you guys about this, I think, before, but I had some hormonal breakouts and when she asked me about my skincare routine, I told her I used you know, my steps, including a facial oil. And she's like, why would you use an oil on your face? And I was like, because I have dehydrated skin. I know what my skin needs. Um, so where's my ramble going? Oh, I like that it's nice and thick. So I do get that 
burst of hydration that I need in the evening. But I also like that it is very sen like good for my sensitive skin. It hasn't broken me out. It hasn't felt too thick. It does dry pretty quickly. Um, so this was this is one that I will probably look at repurchasing the full size of once I'm done with the sample. The sample though has lasted me a long time. Um, I've been using this for well over a month. And I'm not even halfway through it. So. I've um, definitely been loving that one. Would recommend if your skin and skin care needs are similar to what I just listed off. Okay, so we're going to move on to this, which was a 500 point perk. Um, let's move on in the list that it tells us about in, yeah, sure. It's a three-step program, as it says on the back of this box. So I'm going to try to actually talk to them <laughs> as three. And you have seen all three of these live in action in my Monday and Tuesday Get Ready, Get Unready With Me videos. Um, so I will link those two videos down below, but you've seen these guys in action, but I'm going to talk about them more right now. We're orange. It's all good. Uh, this is the uh, Eau Micellaire de Maquillant Makeup Removing Cleansing Water. It says it's organic grape water and chamomile, and you can definitely smell that on it, but again, not in an overwhelming, really obnoxious kind of way. Yeah, it's just a really nice, um, nicely scented. Um, I will say it, it's a water. Like when you pour it, I usually uh, use it by pouring it on like a little cotton pad and dropping the lid everywhere. And um, I wish you guys could have seen that because the lid caught my shirt, which made it bounce back as opposed to hit the ground, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> I use it on a cotton pad and just sort of like wipe it across my face. I wouldn't say that it's um, intensive enough for a first cleanse in the evening. Um, just because it, it, it's just, it's not, I, maybe it's just me, but I feel like unless I'm rubbing my face, I'm not getting the kind of deep clean that I, my skin needs. So for me, I'll either use it as a second cleanse in the evening, uh, if I don't have a lot of makeup on or a lot of high SPF on, I'll use it as, as a secondary cleanse. Um, or if there is a day where I do have a lot of makeup on or really heavy SPF, my skin is not happy if all that SPF is not on my face. And so there are days where I, where I will triple cleanse. I found that's really, really been helping my stick breakouts on my cheek areas when I triple cleanse. So this is a, a product that I would definitely reach for for that purpose. Um, I would say though that this is also nice if you're just like throughout the day um, on hotter days like today here. Um, if you just want to wash your face sort of before you do like a whole cleansing, this would also be nice for that. Um, so it's definitely it's like a staple, can't have, can't live without type product, uh, but it is really nice in a collection, um, especially if you're a makeup junkie and you like to really be thorough with your cleansing or you like to cleanse periodically or whatever, it's a nice product. Um, and would I purchase the full size? That is a good question. I might um, probably like if I had like a gift card or something, I might do that. Just it's probably a little bit pricey for a third cleanse on its own for me at least. What's second on this box? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the Vino Perfect Serum Ikla Anti Tash Radiant Serum Complexion Corrector for all skin types. Serum is being milky. I should have showed this one, but I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> it was in a pile for this video. Um, so it's sort of like a milky type cleanser. I uh, serum. I did use it in my get unready with me video as well. But I've really been loving it to give some added radiance to my skin. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup this month um, for a variety of reasons. One of which is it's very hot outside, and so having moisturizer on my face it feels really heavy. You guys are gonna like just laugh at me. It's 30 degrees Celsius out here, and it's a dry heat, so it's not even like a humid heat, but I am so not used to the heat anymore that I am just, I like had so much trouble sleeping last night because it was too warm. It's been a whole production. Um, so I haven't been wearing makeup for that reason. And then the second reason is since we have been fasting, I've been sort of staying up later just to eat and like rest and, and hydrate and all that kind of good stuff. So in the mornings when I have to get up for work, it's like every last minute of sleep is important because I've stayed up that much later. So it's like, do I wake up an extra 30 minutes early, put on makeup or do I sleep in? And my body's like, no, you need the rest. So there hasn't been a lot of makeup on my face. There's going to tie into what the serum, I promise. Um, there hasn't been a lot of makeup on my face. And so I have really been finding that with this guy, 
on my face. It's been adding like a radiance and a luminosity from within to my skin um, in that I feel like it, it's just as luminous and bright um, and it's not like I go out feeling like I just look drab and dreary because there's no foundation or no brightness to my face, if that makes sense. So I definitely would be repurchasing the larger size of this guy um, because I have really found that it helps sort of brighten uh, and add like a glowy effect to my skin, if that makes sense. So it's supposed to be a quick video. And the third product in this little box was the Vino Perfect uh, Fluid Peau Parfait SPF 15 Broad Spectrum S SPF 15 Day Perfecting Fluid. Um, so it's this guy right here, and this guy I actually have finished off. Uh, there wasn't it wasn't actually full to the top when I went to open it. I, there's a lot of air in here, but this guy is quite nice. SPF 15 is a little bit low for me, so if I know that I'm going to spend a lot of time outside, I probably I not probably I did pair it with an additional SPF on top but on those days when I wasn't really spending much time outside or I was just moisturizing and, and didn't even think I'd be outside at all this was really nice to do that it had a bit of a tint to it um, I think you saw that in my get ready like my morning skincare routine uh -huh. look we got a little bit so it's like on my knuckle right there I just tried to get a little bit out of it but um what was I saying? I was saying something. Maybe. Uh, I use this. Someone left me a comment the other day. It was like, the, basically the crux of which was like they appreciate how genuine and authentic I am on camera and that I'm not like this over the top sort of personality. I'm just me and I feel like sometimes it could be, it could get strange around here. It could get weird, long-winded, tangenty around here. But I'm just me and I don't know how to be anyone else. And so um, I do edit when it gets really wrong, long and rambly, but you're going to see who I am and I'm not like putting on a front that's really important to me personally. And so um, those of you who get it, which is if you're here, you get it, appreciate it. And I appreciate that you get it in return. Like it means a lot that it's coming across on camera that I'm just me. But that sometimes means that you get me that that is making no sense because she's tired and she's trying to put this video out because um, it's important. I like this as a moisturizer, um, and so I would pair it with an additional SPF on the days I knew I was going to be outside. Um, it's not too heavily scented, it does have a tint to it, that's what I was saying. Not enough that I felt like it covered anything, it's just it had a tint to it, which maybe because I'm not super, super fair, um, didn't do much for me. But I feel like unless you are incredibly, incredibly fair, you're not going to notice the tint in this. Um, this was one that I'm, uh, I probably won't repurchase even though I did finish it. I liked it enough, but I just, I don't think that it was either moisturizing enough or had an S high enough SPF in it that it would justify the price for me. Um, but it could work for someone who is really fair looking for a little bit of a tint or someone that wants a low, low SPF in their moisturizer. Um, yeah, that was that. I think that is all that I wanted to share with you guys today. Any questions, comments, all that kind of good stuff, please leave those down below. I'm going to give you guys three points of positivity before I leave for the day. The first of which I have to grab, hold on. This is my first point of positivity. It is this gorgeous postcard that I got from the beautiful Anka. And if you don't know Anka, um, she and my amazing friend Lydia have a channel here on YouTube where they do all kinds of book related stuff. I will link their channel down below. But Anka was in Paris and we'd been talking about books and Paris and how much she loved Paris and how the only time I've been there was a school trip and it wasn't the greatest experience. So she sent me this beautiful postcard while she was there. Um, to show me one of her favorite places in the city and try to slowly um, get me around to loving the city as much as she does. So I, it was like the most beautiful moment of joy. The mail has always been to me a place where I get like bills and I don't know, ads that I never wanted. And now it's a place where I get just random moments of sunshine and happiness. Anka, if you're watching, you have no idea how much this means to me. I've sent you a note where I tried to be as sappy as possible and trying to explain it to you, but it's just, it's beautiful. And I want to show you all. So this is the uh, Sacré-Cœur Church in Montmartre in Paris. Um, my second point of positivity is um, a trip that I'm, I'm one of those weird people that gets sort of really superstitious and um, 
doesn't necessarily want to talk about things until like they're completely crystallized just because I have a fear that I myself will jinx it. And so I'm starting to book a trip in August and I'm hoping it's going to come together and I don't want to talk too much about it now, but it's looking like it's going to come together and I will update you guys and I will hopefully, fingers crossed, um, film a vlog and all that kind of goodness. Um, we still got to work out cameras and all that kind of good stuff, but Exciting trip, hopefully in August, that I will keep you guys posted on. So yeah, that's been bringing me a great big smile today. And the third point of positivity is um, the amazing lady by the name, I told you I was going to be over today. Uh, I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this properly, but I think it's Shanice. I will link her um, Instagram. I don't know what this is, this finger. Um, I will link her Instagram down below. But she posted a picture of mac and cheese that she made and she sent me the recipe because I sort of gushed really hard um, over her picture. And so I'm hoping to make mac and cheese hopefully soon um, for Ramadan dinner, also known as iftar. I said that with my best SoCal accent. Why? Um, I'm hoping to make that soon, but it's definitely the fact that she was really sweet and shared that recipe and I'm going to get mac and cheese, fingers crossed, sometime soon. It's very exciting. I'm running out of breath and energy and this video has gone from like Sarah weird to all kinds of weird. So I'm going to call it a day for today and I want to wish you guys tons of love. Hoping you guys had a great day um, and there's something that brought you some happiness that you can share with us down below. And I want to thank you for being here oh so very much. You guys are awesome. And what's the last thing that I can never leave without reminding you of? Let's say it together now. Life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.